Alright guys, welcome to Crash and Sane Trilogy. Full disclosure, I actually have played a little teensy weensy bit of the first Crash Bandicoot. I just wanted to get a feel for it. So there's actually a continue option. I'm going to do a new game anyways. We can overwrite that because I don't really care about it. Probably a good thing I did too. I played up to Native Fortress, which is probably where this video is going to go anyways, but I'm genuinely bad at this game, like even the PlayStation but version, so. Fix. We haven't determined the cause of past failures. <laughs> Moron! This bandicoot will be my general. He will lead my Cortex Commandos to world domination. This time. I shall reign triumphant! We are closer than ever before! Quickly! Into the Vortex! <laughs> Dr. Cortex! The Vortex is not ready! We have no idea what it could do! <laughs> Again. <laughs> Capture him. Uh oh. Prepare the female bandicoot. Alright, so first things first, they do have the box counter up top, which I think is awesome. Something I mentioned in my Sharpie talks that I kind of was laughing at the second I saw it is I had mentioned there's a lot of hand holding nowadays and the fact that they're showing you all these tips on the side and the tips on the menu and that. One of those, like, yeah, I totally call that. Also, hopefully not in this level, but at some point you probably will find out, or you will see, I should say, that when you hit a checkpoint, it saves your progress for boxes as well. You don't have to do it in that, um, like all in one go kind of thing anymore. Who knows, I may actually screw this up. Oh. Ah, that wasn't so bad. I love it because you can check now. Do I have all the boxes? Yep, perfect. I will say I do enjoy how much percentage you gain from simply just beating one level, but eh, it happens. So they did stick pretty damn close to the original. I, like I said, I did go through quite a few of these levels, so... Um, I'm not going to be doing... Okay, apparently I'm not signed in. That's pretty bizarre, but whatever. Um, I'm not going to do all the relics as we go through. I'm actually just going to do this one just to show it off, because it is in the beginning and you can get it pretty easy here. I think I did it in 32 last time, which got me a sapphire. It was pretty sloppy too, actually, so... Oh, 
Whoopsies. That screwed the whole thing. I'm actually just going to kamikaze myself here, guys. I'm actually curious if the other way would just be faster. One of those two boxes is going to be a timer. to run faster with the mask as well, so that's always an added benefit. You don't have to stop and spin everything. Let me go this way and see what happens. Well, still faster at least. Apparently not fast enough, but oh well. What did I go with before? CRB? gold was a 28 and I don't know if they'll show you platinums to start or not but yeah so the relics are there they're pretty cool um, again there's no slide there's no body slams it's the same controls I'm kind of curious and I mentioned this in my little talk video that I did uh, hold on let's see target time yeah 28 26 so I was a little off that's fine but um, Yeah, the hints on the bottom. That just kind of made me laugh right away. Some of them are kind of... They'll tell you that you need a certain gem for a level. Which kind of gives you a heads up. Don't worry about getting all the boxes. Ah, uh, what was I saying though? Ugh, I actually can't remember. Oh yeah, we taught his back. So is Brio actually, but I didn't actually find his third token in that level, so... We'll see if maybe I can do it the second time around, or if it's in a hidden area, you never know. So there's the gem outline. I am so happy that they're a lot harder, or a lot easier to see, I should say, this time around. rounds Tana's back. I found Rio obviously only playing the first island I didn't have time to find Cortex but that's okay. I'm sure he's there because there are still keys in the game so. And the boxes do count. Pretty sure they count for the Brio levels as well, which that's a little, well, I mean, it's probably good for a challenge and whatnot, but I remember the Brio levels as being like just rough. So that's the gem path that I missed, obviously. But uh, it took a minute to kind of get the, get used to the jumping. I realize it sounds really stupid saying the jumping mechanic is different, but it it's a slightly different feel, obviously. 
So once I got past that, there's one level. The hog level was just stupid hard. Um, we'll kind of talk about that when we get there. I've picked up, I believe, three trophies. My first was for collecting three masks, which I don't think is trophyable, but whatever. My second was for unlocking a bonus round with Tanya. I assume it can be done with any character because the um, like the quote that it says for the trophy is that's what those do. So I'm assuming that's just a bonus round. I can't really see you unlocking it with Brio and Mama. Oh. oh, that still kind of worked out. Yeah, I can't see unlocking it with one of the other two before her, but to each their own. These guys are rough. There we go. Thankfully, they tend to always knock you over the pit. Which is kind of nice. I will say the game is gorgeous as well. As somebody who is more pumped about, you know, the time trials and, um, Trophies and whatnot. Well, that's what I was talking about, trophies. Anyways, as somebody who is probably more pumped about that than the graphics update, I will say the graphics update is phenomenal. Uh oh And like I said, they stuck pretty close to the original. Um, you know, the soundtrack's pretty close to the original too, which is always nice. I have a bit of a beef with the Boulder soundtrack, which will get you... I think that's actually the next level anyways, so... Unfortunately, there are a lot of levels that require jump pass in this game. Especially early on when you have no chance of having the gem yet, so... They do make you go back. It's... They kind of... I don't know if fixed is the right word, but I know in Crash 2 it seemed like there was really only one. Actually, no. Oh yeah, no, I guess the red gem would be the only one if you didn't go through the back door for Snow Go through Air Crash first. Then that would really be the only one that you didn't have an opportunity to get the gem beforehand. Or else you could do it like in that warp room or sooner. Which I guess that still falls in the same category, but this one you have a lot of backtracking. And actually in Crash uh, 3 you have a lot of backtracking as well, if I'm not mistaken, so. But uh, yeah, so my beef with the soundtrack here is it just seems a lot lighter. And I get that that's probably what they're going for with the overall soundtrack, but come on guys, it's boulders. There's a rock literally coming at you trying to squish you. Like, you can put a little bit of heaviness into this. So, quite literally, my only beef with the game so far. Obviously, there's a lot of different level types that I haven't gotten to yet, so we'll see how that turns out. But. howling there or anything. No drop down there, like, ugh. It just seems such, like so more intense last time than it does this time, so. But again, with boulders aside, the soundtrack is still pretty good. I'm not going to hold one level against them. We'll see if a couple others are kind of meh. I'm pretty worried about Crash 2 because I actually like genuinely love that soundtrack. So we'll see what happens there, but. And this level looks beautiful. I'm just gonna tell you that before we get there. Go. 
Makes me think of a magic card flying at you. So, oh, I was talking about trophies by the way, so I got three right now. I told you the first two, the third was for being Papu Papu. So, the rest of the trophies I will be doing on this file, I just. Like I said guys, it took a little bit to get the jumping in hand, and it took a little bit to get familiar with the game again, but... And that hog level was pretty bad. I'll point out why it was kind of rough later when we get there, but... part is I'm not even gonna bother doing that again because I didn't need to go up there in the first place. I don't know why I did. And I lost my masks. Which is fine, I don't think you get them for the I don't know, actually you do get them for um the fight. Keep in mind, there were quite a few in that bonus round. So it is nice that you get the checkpoints like you do in every other game after this one. You don't have to beat it all in one shot. You need to hit him five times, but he also doesn't do the mad spin after you get after he gets hit. So. I'm curious to see how the other bosses are, especially in the later games. A lot of them only had three hits and they're all pretty easy to begin with as well. So and you'd normally get a trophy there, so. Yeah, pretty much from this point forward, we're going to be collecting all the other trophies. That was the last one that's given to you, so... It's funny, they give you a trophy for... Oh, hello. What was this? Coco's time machine. Curiosity is getting the better of me. What is this? I'm good. I didn't even see that last time. Yeah, so this was the hint I was talking about. It straight up tells you at the beginning. It's like, oh yeah, there's a blue gem here. Perfect. Oh, that 
was stupid. Oh, you still keep the token? Cool. So I haven't actually gone back into a level other than the one for um, the relic there that we just did. So I'm not entirely sure if you have to collect all the tokens again or if it just kind of opens up. Or I guess stays open would be the term I'm looking for. Have I got a real one yet? No, that's weird. He should have been right at the front actually. Maybe I sent an enemy through the box and that nullifies it, I guess. Yeah, anyways, no point doing the bonus round. They're actually kind of rough here, so... Okay, I don't know what's funny here, the fact that I got a trophy for that, or the fact that it apparently 45 boxes. So I think the boxes in Rio's realm there count as well, which should make for some interesting gameplay later on. As I remember the Brio rounds, they were pretty rough. They had a lot of TNT, you didn't have a whole lot of time to react. I mean, I'm looking forward to it, if I can actually find all three of his damn tokens. I only found two last time, so I never even got the Brio round last time either. I forget how many levels he was involved in as well. I think they were just darker levels. Mind you, that's not really a dark level, so... One of the other things I talked about in my little Sharpie talk was that there was a little bit tighter controls for the vehicles and for the animals. And if the other games follow suit with the way that the hog has been updated, I will be one happy camper. Anyway, so these guys that are running back and forth, for whatever reason, the first one there, I just couldn't figure that guy out. I kept tripping over him, I wasn't going over fast enough. And then those rotating things. There's a third one here. I may trip on, may trip up on it still too, but yeah. Imagine how frustrating that would be in time trial if you kept tripping up in that same spot. Obviously I edited that quite a bit. I died like 10 times trying to jump over that one little spot, so... I don't know if it's just poor placement or if there's literally just the one sweet spot that you have to jump in to be able to make that, but... 
that was definitely a lot of unnecessary trouble. Let's put it that way. In the original Crash 1, this is one of my least favorite levels, but that was also because you had to beat the whole thing without dying. And not only is it long, but there's a lot of places that things can go wrong. Especially the further up you get. going to bother with that one. Once again, I don't need the boxes, so... As you can see, they stuck pretty close to the core mechanics of the first game. Or sorry, not the core mechanics, I should say the core design of the first game. I might actually need him for... Okay, we're not quite there yet. I don't think I get another one though. Hoping I won't get roasted here. Okay, good. There we go, that wasn't so bad. gotten all my lives back from that hog wild. This one's gonna be another 20, but oh well. So I was gonna stop here, but you know what? 
I think I'm going to keep going. We'll go up to Ripperoo. That way I can kind of be already failing a bonus round doesn't cost lives, so we try it. Well, that's good to know. I was going to say, at least I'll be a couple levels into this island, so... I think this one we can actually get a gem in, so... So Native Fortress was the level that I stopped in last time, so this is all new to me. Well, newish. That is not okay, sorry. There we go. Why is it trying to send me back? There we go. That makes a lot more sense. I'm not sure if you can spin them in the air, and I'm not sure if he loses momentum if you try to spin in the air, so just go around him. You know, it's a good thing those, uh, oh wow, that's pretty much going to sum up the rest of the boxes. It's pretty good that those Wampa Foods showed up when they did, because I probably wasn't going to go backwards. Okay, well that's not terrible. I got a couple minutes to uh, 
cut out with the hog wild there, so probably by the time we finish Ripperoo, should be under 45. jump on the big TNT. That was a stupid idea. Took a little bit longer than it probably should have, but that's okay. Hmm, we've got the island going the other way this time. Used to tilt down the other way. So our first opportunity at a colored gem, which was always awesome. Yeah, so as you can see my last one, I just kind of went up to Native Fortress. Three gems, one relic. I've got four gems and one relic here, so, and a lot more lives. We shall save over that. I enjoy that they give you a picture of the memory card. Ripperoo, perfect. All right, when I see you guys again, we will continue from here. Um, I'm pretty excited for the next levels. The Lost City, Temple Ruins, I think, and Road to Nowhere should be afterwards. I'm pretty interested to see what the graphical updates for those are like, so hopefully you guys are pumped too. And I'll see you in part two. I may not uh, keep them as long as this. I might go between 30 and 40, but I figured why not finish the second boss, right? So I will see you guys then.